Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be learning how to use the dialogic add-on in Godot engine and uh, we're going to be using the dialogic it's actually an add-on that can be used for creating visual novels inside Godot engine so it comes with a lot of features that enables you to be able to do a lot of things so right now I've already put in some things like pictures I'm going to use for my um, for my visual novel using the dialogic add-on so if you come in here, once you search for Dialogic uh, add-on, you can be able to see it on GitHub and then you can just uh, go to that link. I'm going to put that in the description too. All right, so once you click on the code here, you can be able to just go ahead to download the zip file. So once you're done downloading, you can be able to now go ahead to unzip it and then use it inside your project. So once you unzip the file you have downloaded, you can just copy that file that you have unzipped and paste it inside your, your Godot add-ons folder. Okay, once you are done uh, doing that, you can just go ahead to go to your project, project settings, and then you can go to your plugins and turn on your dialogic so once you turn it on you have a dialogic uh, tab coming up here so let's go into the dialogic tab to see what it looks like so if you click here you just see your dialogic and you have certain tabs you want to pay attention to so the first thing will have is the timeline the characters the glossary the style the variables and the settings so we're going to just leave all these things we're just going to be working with just the timeline and the characters for this particular tutorial so right now if you go to your character you can just go in there i'm going to create uh, about two new characters so i'm going to click on create new character and it's going to ask me uh, where do you want to save it so i'm going to tell it okay i want to create uh, first a man and i want it to be saved inside my scenes so i'm going to just save that and it's going to create that for me so once I do that, I have my the name of the man, that's a man, whatever I want to call him. If I have a nickname for him, I'm going to write it there. I want to color code him so that when the name is appearing, it will have a particular color. So let me just make it, a, let's say yellow. And we'll have other descriptions that we can be able to put here. So once we do that, I want to go into my portraits and here, the portrait is uh, how the person will appear if you want the person to appear like a person speaking you can be able to use a portrait so you can have different portraits for the same character so i want to use just one portrait i'm just going to call it um, man portrait and just go down here to the image i'm going to click on that i'm going to go to my sprites and i have a picture of a man and it's going to just drop it in here once i do that i can just go down here i have my main scale I would like to take it down to about 30%, depending on how big your picture is, so you can be able to check it out. So you can adjust the size of the picture when it appears. So once I'm done doing that, I will go ahead to create another character, to create another character. So if you come up here, you see you can create a timeline here and also a character. So I'm gonna click on a new character and I'm gonna call this uh, lady. Click on the scene and I'm gonna save it. So for the lady, I'm going to have to I want to change this to let's say a pink color and create a, a portrait for that for the lady. So I put my lady portrait and I'm going to put an image. Go to my sprites. I have a lady picture here. Also, the main scale is also 30%. So right now, I'm going to go into my timeline and I will create a timeline. So right now, if you don't have your timeline open, I think my timeline is already open here. So if you don't have your timeline open, you can always uh, click here to create a timeline. So I can call this timeline one. And I'm going to go to my scene and click on timeline one, save it. So right now I have my timeline one. So I have, uh, these are the things I've created. So I'm going to go ahead to, first I want to have a background. So the background will be the first part of the thing that will appear. So I want to put a background. So my background is going to have an image. 
So I have some images I've brought in here. So let me start with uh, this one here. So if you look at here, it has a fade time. So you can now adjust that however you like. Simple fade, you can say push left or whatever you want to animate. And the other thing I want to now do is add a character. So I'm going to click on character and I'll say, okay, I want uh, the man to join. And I want, to, I want him to join at the first position. The first position is somewhere here. So I have this here and I also, I can just right click and duplicate this. So if you want to do that, so, um, but I'm going to just delete that. Now I'll do another one, character again, and I'll do this for the lady. And I want her to join at uh, point three. So point two is in the center. Point three is somewhere at the right side of your laptop or your, your screen. So once I do that, I will go ahead to add a text. So I want the man to come in, the lady comes in, and then I'll put in the text. So I'm going to put a text, who is speaking? The man is speaking. So I'll say, hi, how are you? So the next text, I can just uh, right click here and just duplicate instead of going over here to do that again. And I will change this to the lady. So I'm going to, now you can also always change the portrait. If you have different portraits, maybe the person is angry or maybe the person has a different face. You can change it from here if you want to. So I'll say, okay. Hi, how are you? Um, good. How about you? So I'm going to just duplicate that and change it for the man. What I want to do right now is um, I want before uh, he asks what's your name, I want the background to actually change. So I'm just going to duplicate his background and I'm going to drag it down to just somewhere here. So just uh, below, how about you? So I want to change my background to a new background. Let me change to something different. And the man says, uh, great. What about you? What, what's your name? So the lady answers. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead to play this timeline. So I can test it from inside here. This appears. If you look at what's happening right now, uh, the this chart here is covering these uh, characters. So it comes up. It changes the background. All right, and then it closes. So right now you want to be able to, um, first, let's work on the characters that are hiding behind the charts. So first I'm gonna to go to lady. So lady is appearing at the right side. That's um, the point three, that's the, the third position. So we have to actually offset her um, to go further. So let's say we'll do it about, let's say 200, She's going to go further 200 towards the right. And then the man, we can make him to come negative, let's say about, um, let's say 70. So he's going to be going um, towards the left, 70 uh, steps or whatever the measurement is. So we'll have that there. Then uh, one more thing, if you notice the, the speed of the text as it's displaying you can actually change that from the settings here so if you look at here the higher the value the lower the speed the lower the value the higher so if if i have 0 0.01 it should be faster but if i have 0, 0.0 let's say um 7 0 0.07 is going to be slower so let me use this right now so those are the other settings you can be able to put in here or uh, auto color, whatever you want to, you know, change, you can do that here. So we have other things we can be able to work on, on portraits and other things. So we're gonna just leave those things for now. So right now I'll go back to my timeline and I have this, I'm gonna test this timeline again. So the lady is coming out here now and it's better. So we need to push the guy a bit farther. I think that's good. So I'm just going to close that. 
um, just increase it a bit to 170. Okay, this should be okay. So right now, the next thing we want to do is this. Right now, this only plays within this dialogic. If you're actually going to a game scene or whatever, it's not going to display. So we need to be able to connect it to a script that displays it whenever we want to play it. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to create uh, probably a 2D or 3D scene, whatever scene you want to be able to create. So I'm going to use a 2D scene for this. So I'm going to right click and add a script here. Remember we already have an orchestrator and we use an orchestrator for this particular script. So but if you're using GD script, you can still do the same thing. So I'm going to right click and add a script and change this to my orchestrator okay, script and open this and save everything inside my script. I'm going to call this my main and just open and create the script. So once I create the script, I'm going to tell it once you are ready, I want you to be able to uh, play this um, timeline one so you can have multiple timelines and you know you can be able to play them at different times so if you have buttons on the screen you can connect them to a signal of a button so whenever a button is clicked this should happen so right now i'm going to just get this and i'll right click and i will type dialogic so once i get this dialogic it's just like a dialogic scene that we're going to be able to get now so i'm going to drag this out and i will type start so we'll have a start timeline, all those things here. So I'm just going to just use start. So I have my start here. So this is going to be start. And this is going to be uh, my target. So the timeline is which timeline do you want to play when you are ready? So you can play different timelines, however you actually want. So I'm just going to drag this from here. Look at the timeline there. I'm just going to drag it here and just drop it. So I'm going to use my uh, get path. So if you don't want to use this, you can always right click and type resource and use your resource part to, you know, select it and then go and select that particular timeline from here. If you want to do that too. So, but I think this is the fastest. We just open it up here, drag it in here and use the res and just drop it into the timeline here. And that should do it for us. So right now, if you save this scene, let's save this scene. So once I go ahead to play this, um, so it's slower and then the background changes. I'm pressing enter key. So that's basically how you can be able to do that. So the other things you can do if you want to repeat or if you want to change to another um, timeline, whenever this is done, you can be able to do that. You can put all those in the code so you can even put in a dialogic or uh, timeline here if you see the timeline here you can use the code to be able to connect different timelines if you want to create another timeline you can always click on this and then you have another timeline you can save it and then you can do that so i believe that is thing you need to know about dialogic the other things you can do here but i will not be covering that in this particular uh, tutorial i would like you to subscribe to my channel like my videos and share with your friends who want to create visual novels using Google engine game engine so you can be able to use it to create uh, visual novels and dialogues and pc characters in your game if you want to get more tutorials on this particular topic put that in the comments below and i will see you in the next video